arranged all the dead birds in like a really pretty like spiral pattern. It got pretty emotional. Yeah. Are we live, Matt? We are live, so please no swearing for the first three minutes. Please, please, please. Oh, Just do man. it. Have we, every time you say that, man. Oh, I know, please. Oh, and no, you haven't. Fucking, oh. Ah! <laughs> dude! <laughs> Look at Just, that fucking- No, dude, don't, don't, it. stop it. He insane. Stop it. You can't tell Marty and Michael what to do. Man, his eyes, God. Oh, you, oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, we tried. It's been great. It's been great so far. It's episode number 37 of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. And we're in Michael's basement discussing politics. Shit, yeah, like me, it's heavy, isn't it? Oh, no. What have we done here? Oh, no. Matt stood right. up. He's concerned. He's speaking out loud, but you can't really hear what he's saying. It's more than It normal. doesn't. He looked at the camera, and now he's walking around to my side. Grab him a bit. Grab his dick. Go for it. Grab him his dick. Fuck off. He looked at grabbing his dick. He was very upset with that. Now he's sort of leaning forward, so I can't reach his dick. He's just adjusted the PO box sign. And he's sitting back down. He's looked one last look at the camera, making sure everything's all good. He's uh, he's satisfied. I think he's satisfied. He didn't he handle this like actually. This. Sorry, I think banging on the desk and we moved it a bit. And when stuff. during the prank call just then, which we filmed, I'm letting you in on a little secret. All right, we filmed the prank call already. It's at the end of the podcast, and I this is what I had in my mind for it. Yeah. All right. I wanted to do the Tourette's prank call, okay? Where I say, hey, I have Tourette's at the beginning of the call, and then I start just going nuts, and then I was going to see how they react on the other line, and if they laughed or said something, then I would have gone off at them for making fun of my Tourette's. That was the plan. You'll see what happens. Yeah. You're disappointing. This guy yeah, is not bad. Yeah. This guy was a solid, burly man. It's like a stern father that takes no shit and doesn't have much of a, like, person, like, doesn't much humor. He's immovable. He's immovable emotionally. He's very, he's very, he's a pillar of strength. You can tell, like, he could definitely, if it was like. He's a go to man when things are crumbling in your life. If he watched out, you laugh, you lose, he probably wouldn't laugh and he'd walk out. Yeah, and he'd have a stern chat to us after. Oh, yeah, he would probably call the cops. He'd be like, sexual harassment. Anyway, the weekend just gone, I moved into the house, still fucking unpacking shit, buying more furniture. It's just a fucking shit show, bro. Yo, oh, dude, it's never easy. It takes a long time. Man. This place is still not, look at it. Yeah, you've still got boxes everywhere. Well, it's just still shit everywhere. Uh, and fucking, um, we filmed five videos this week? Four. Four videos this week and a sketch for June. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, we're slowly getting bits back we're up. Nearly four we did a fun science experiment today. Yeah. Well, that should be, that'll be out now. Oh, I want to be ages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's, we wanted to see how many layers of cling wrap you need before it, before it holds, before it works. Yeah, because we were testing how strong it is. Or when it's strong. Yeah. When is cling wrap strong? How much of it do you need? You can break it's through it, it's weak. So oh. we did a certain amount of layers, it gets up and up and up and then. Because people, people always say, Matt comes all the time with his lunch in one or two layer of cling wrap and he, Tilts it and the sauce in his meal drips out and it's clean up's not working, I say to Matt. And Matt says, Well, I don't know how many layers I need, he said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how many layers. <laughs> Heaven forbid, he says sometimes. So I said so I sat him down and I said, Hey, do we make a make an experiment out of it? And got the answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even told you the answer yet. We'll keep it Hold safe. On. Oh. Fun experiment though. Mm. We went full knots. Yeah, so we've been we haven't been doing anything fun. Full really. knots. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been doing anything fun. It's just been a lot of work and our weekends as haven't haven't even been that fun. But we go to Jackson's we have my girlfriend's birthday this weekend, and the next weekend we have Jackson's Halloween party. Oh man, and he's gone. He's gone all out with this. Dude, he's, he's so much I don't know. Up. We won't say how much he spent, but he spent a lot. We um, you might notice the audio has just changed. We've ju- Matt Brown has just picked up on an audio problem that we were having. All right, the the fucking microphones weren't recording properly. So for the first bit of this podcast and the very end, the prank call because we record the prank call first, the audio is going to be a bit shit. We're very sorry for that. I apologize. I'll put my 
my hand up and take responsibility. I'll put no, my hand I'll up. I'll put my hand I'll up. Fucking I'll mine. fucking I'll, look. I'll put two hands up, cunt. I don't even know what I'm fucking putting them up for, cunt. <laughs> I'll put three. I'll put three. <laughs> Fuck off, cunt. Where's your third hand, then, cunt? <laughs> <laughs> this cunt said three. <laughs> you fucking dumb cunt. Three. Oh. Yeah, see how red his face gets? That's how red my insides get. So, yeah, sorry for that. Uh, bear with us. We'll try and make the audio as uh, listenable as possible. So, just the beginning and the end will be a bit weird. Anyway, moving on. Diary entries. Diary entries. Di- 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 diary entries. Diary entries. Favorite bit? Well, it's getting, uh, it's getting heavy, isn't it? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> aggressively fanning his fart <laughs> towards me diary entry number 145 from michael Corey Bookhouse. whoever thought and thought holy shit my own voice is in my head but no one else can hear it which begs the question does the voice in my head even make a sound and if not how can i hear it i'll tell you how telepathy Everyone can read their own mind. You are telepathy. And if everyone is telepathy, then we should be able to learn to speak by putting our own voices in the heads of others. That's how aliens talk, and that's how we will talk one day. Anyway, I'm off to buy two packets of Cyclone ice creams for dinner. <laughs> Again, dude. Like, very good. Spot on. Like, that is going to happen. That's how aliens fucking talk. See how passionate he is about these diary entries? Because I wrote them. It's me. Yeah, they're all in capitals. Everything's I in like capitals. I like cyclones. Yeah, I always slips on my head. How good is cyclone? But it, like, how weird is that? You can you can hear your own voice, cunt, right? I never thought of it like that. But it doesn't make a sound. How can you hear something that makes no sound? Yeah, what the fuck? Look, look, right now. I heard my own voice then. I said, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning in my head. And I heard it. Did you hear it? I'm not sure. So we all have the ability to telepathize. You just got to work at it, cunt. Like everything, cunt. All right? Well, that's how aliens talk to abductees when abductees have said their story. And to be honest, that's one way to get a, re- a way I around. That, Matt. What? He didn't know that. What? That how, that's how they talk to the... Yeah, yeah. That's how they... How did they speak English? Heaps of people have yeah, said that. In, yeah, just in like... And to be honest, that <laughs> <laughs> telepathy was also a way forwards for us because if we can speak to you guys telepathically, then YouTube won't pick up on all our naughties that we say. Maybe we should talk like that for the first three minutes of the podcast. In telepathy. And yeah. you guys can just, it's, it, you're going to just, just slam over for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> Diary entry. Diary entry. <clears throat> Diary entry number 115 from Marty. Today, a kid told me that when you lose your teeth and put them under your pillow, a fairy comes and gives you money for them. I raced home and fanned dad's pliers. I sat in my room and tugged and ripped at my teeth, blacking out occasionally from my pain. But I managed to rip all of my teeth off. I went into shock twice and I lost a lot of blood, but managed to swallow most of it to keep it in my body. I, I placed all of my teeth under my pillow. My entire face was swollen and I cried and screamed in pain for the whole night. I managed to fall asleep for an hour and when I woke up I excitedly lifted my pillow my bloody teeth were still there and there was no money I think maybe that kid was lying just in case I still sleep with all of my teeth under my pillow it was a pretty good day (laughs) (laughs) fuck man that's why you were never allowed to go back to the dentist as a kid (laughs) they spent all of their money for the dentist for you in one go well I didn't go I just ripped them all out myself yeah, how did you grow them back? Well, I had them, I had them surgically. Oh, you were a implanted. kid. How old? Oh, this would have been maybe maybe thirteen. Oh, so you had adult teeth. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and they were surgically put back in when I had enough money. So like what? Eighteen. When yeah, you left eighteen. I, when I left, you got out of there. Like I realized I took my teeth with me in a little little satchel. My teeth around everywhere with me, and I never lost one of them. I lost one of them, and the rest I screwed back into my fucking head. And here I am today. They're still straight, so good on ya. <laughs> Dollar entry number sixty nine from Julian James Tennyson was from Ash Grove or some shit. Forty sixty till I die. 
Last night I went to a fucking sick party with my new crew. We've called ourselves the North, East, South, Northern, just past Skimpy Road up near the Big Macca's crew. I randomly saw one of my best mates there and he asked me if I, I still play Fortnite. One of my crew heard it and I had to pretend like I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. He was being all confused and now my whole crew was watching. So I stab, stab, stabbed the cunt and then headbutted his missus. I stab, stabbed him in places. He, I knew he'd live though because I am quite loyal. Like I am actually quite loyal. I also had a bit of a fiddle with his missus while she was out cold, but he didn't see that. So I'm hoping we can still be best mates once I'm not with me crew anymore. Loyalty's everything, cunt, and my mates are my fucking family. I also have my actual family, so I've got like two families because I'm a mad cunt. Ha 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 ha! Yeah! Yeah! Stab! Rush forwards, dick kick, stab up, piss and spring, cunt! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, that's very good. Yeah, very, very good. That's fucking Julian to a T. He loves Fortnite. <laughs> Julian to a T. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Someone made my abbeys hurt. I heard Julian ordered a Fortnite poster for his bedroom. Oh, did he? But he'd, oh, should we say that? I sort of tune out when he's fucking talking about it now. I don't know if you should uh, put that on there, but it's like a it's like a door size poster. Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. not, I don't get it. You and him too. always fucking. I love Fortnite, but man, he's deep. Like he might even have a tattoo somewhere. I think he said like he his life goal. He wants he wants a, his character built into the game. Yeah, like his actual a character based on. Last him. I heard, he was looking for a guy called Knight, saying he was going to fight for him. Sorry. Sorry about that, eh? Do you get it? Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that one. Sorry. Yeah, I was way away. <laughs> oh, I uh. get that now, yes. Yeah. Uh, diary entry number 1081 from Matthew Gregory Brown. No. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Oh. It's just what it says, man. Wait, I want a bit of weed before this one. <laughs> it's what it says in the diary. I want a bit of marriage. All right, bong, bong break, break for thirty seconds, Connor. Whenever we say this, could you just p- just have a still image and just play thirty seconds of some like elevator music that's n- Actually, that's not copyrighted? Could you go to the top of the fridge uh, on the cabinet above and grab the bong? Of course. All right, guys, we're gonna have a quick uh, bong break starting. Uh, so so go on, fill your bongs and have a quick uh, hit. Uh, Matt Brown's diary entry coming up starting uh, now. All right, we're back. I uh, promise. The bong bra- the, also, the bong break idea was given us to, to us uh, in a comment <coughs> on one of the videos. He had a lot of good ideas. We've written some down. We've got new ideas for the next season. Anyway, back to the diary entries, all right? <coughs> diary entry number 1091 from Matthew Gregory Brown. Oh, shit. I better put that back. Wait, Stop so. It. That's what it says, Matt. Stop it. Okay. It's nearly finished. Okay? Get it done so lines. I can just... Heavy breathing, it says. It was a sticky evening and my father was massaging my chest utters in our lounge room. <laughs> my body and mind felt great and I felt like I was ready for anything. I knew the battle of my life could be sprung on me at any moment, but I had come to terms with it. I was tired of my massage and dismissed my father. As my father stood up, an arrow exploded through our lounge room window and sunk into his shoulder. He let out an almighty scream and from the ground I swiped my father's legs out from under him so he fell to the ground just in time. A second arrow had been fired and was headed straight for my father's face. The arrow narrowly avoided him as he fell to the ground. I grabbed my father's dick and balls and clenched them. I stared into his eyes. Dad, did you all leave your death? We are under attack. Another five arrows flew through through our windows and were all on fire. They stuck into our walls and immediately the fire started spreading to the rest of the house. My skin tripled in thickness and my spine widened to well over a metre. I beckoned for my father to follow me and we started crawling towards the back of the house. Smoke filled the rooms and I grew a second set of testicles under my chin. We reached the back door, but as I arrived, we heard Queston on the other side. Kick it down, choir, he said. We were trapped. (laughs) I was about to stand and fight, but looked at my injured father and knew they had a huge advantage. I dropped back down and quickly but aggressively sucked on my father's balls. This gave my father and 
idea and he tore his plump testicles fresh from my mouth, stood up in the smoke and screamed, RUN! I stood up and heard the door behind us get kicked down and choir let out an incredibly loud, shrill scream which I'd never heard before. The pain in my ears was immense and nearly stopped me in my tracks, but I blindly ran after my father through the smoke. He led us to the laundry, pushed the washing machine over to reveal a hatch. He opened the hatch and he dove inside. I grabbed the washing machine and slid it back across the hatch as I lowered myself in. I've been building this secret tunnel while you have been training in case we were ever found, said Dad. I lunged forwards and stuck my thick, dry tongue down his throat. Mmm. Jizz fizzed and foamed out of my dick hole. Fucking genius, Ken! I said. We ran down the length of the tunnel which led underneath a bush in a park. We closed the hatch behind us and locked it. What now? said Dad. We head to the mountains, Dad. I grabbed my dad's ankles and bounded backwards all the way to the mountains. We were now in hiding, but I knew we couldn't hide forever. My father sucked me off that night, and we began our recovery. (laughs) (sighs) Dude, it's like a beautiful adventure. That was close. It's getting stressful, man. It's becoming quite the graphic novel, isn't it? Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, dude, I love it. How, like, strange relationship. Of course, choir father. would fucking use arrows. Like, who the fuck uses bow and arrows now? Yeah, they're silent. And if you're good with them, it's better than a gun. I could imagine Holy this. shit, I see why they use them. You should have heard the sound. It was like that. Shoop, shoop. Like oh. when they're coming through. Oh, yuck, man. And the scream. When you pulled your dad or you kicked his legs out, I wish you had grabbed his balls and dick to bring him down. Mm. Sorry. But yeah, anyway. It must have been- Maybe out of reach. Dude, questions, impossible noises like <laughs> the screeching. Yeah, Fuck, that's very, high pitch. very, 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 very. very. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fuck. It sounds like that's sort of um building to. Well, you're here with us now, so I guess <laughs> that bitch must have gone down. If you've got all the entries, which I feel you do, there is a climax, and it's coming. <sighs> Man, do you reckon like emotional it's crying? Fully came crying? Onto us then. It's emotional. It's adventurous. It's a he's, yeah. He's horny with a bit us. of horn. Yeah, there's always a little bit of horn. Yeah, there's, I mean, Respect. look at the other one. Hey, hey, yeah. hey! Respect, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Respect, brother. Brother. Um, also last week's podcast there was a uh, we saw some comments people wanted the on this days back so um, Matt came in a few hours early and actually found one right and it's pretty cool this one what a what a on this day to come back with it's yeah it's relevant to us it's relevant if you don't know it's relevant to our beginnings podcast yeah it's to like a beginning season podcast I think this is first and a little bit of second it was like our first failed the hunt Mm. Because we wanted someone to throw human shit at her back, but it never happened. On this day in 1857, Judge Judy Scheindlin celebrated her 107th birthday by slaughtering all the lambs in her village. She liked to hang the lambs on trees by their eyelids until the eyelids tore and the lambs fell to the ground. Then she would laugh and laugh as the lambs could no longer blink or close their eyes. She said they always looked in a state of shock, which was fucking hilarious. The lambs would run around not being able to sleep and would die of exhaustion. It is also believed Judge Judy is a witch. Fuck, man. (laughs) So it is her birthday today, right now. It's her birthday. Today for us, today, not for you guys. Yeah, well, you guys are listening to this. This is a Thursday we're filming this. You guys listen to it on Monday, so it'll be like the 25th or some shit when you listen to this. But right now- Matt came in and he said, you wouldn't believe on this day I found. And then he read that and I said, she's fucking bitch, man. She's a <laughs> fucked up bitch. What do you reckon? I like her, to be honest. I've got a bit of a crush on her. But what the fuck what do you reckon it would be like without eyelids? Could you live? I don't know. If you cut your eyelids off, what would you die? I reckon- that, that's a science experiment. If it was it's a- happened. People rip their no, eyelids off. No, 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 no. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. All right. Let's do a video to test how long. You, you can, can have keep your, your eyes, eyes open, open for, for, and we'll tape them open. And we'll staple them open, cunt. Unfortunately, Guinness does not keep a recognised world record for the longest time without blinking, which is keeping your eyes open. However, according to a record setter, Michael Thomas from Florida managed to keep his eyes open for minutes. an incredible one hour and sixty. Oh, sorry, one hour and fifty-six seconds. 
So he, and that's with tape or he just, no, he just, can do that. It yeah. doesn't say. It, yeah. So but let's do. He kept his eyes open. Yeah, it's a long time. Jesus. <coughs> All right, time for the next segment, which has been renamed to. Oh, that's cool. You made like two big bubbles. And this is a segment where you just answer your questions, guys. So if you want to support the podcast, well, let me first. If you want your question answered, all you got to do is comment a question on our YouTube channel pod, po- podcast, the Marty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. And the most liked questions from everyone get answered first. Okay, so comment your question. Have a scroll through. See which questions you think are good. Give them a like, first of all. Okay, so go, you can go ahead and do that now. <laughs> also, if you don't want to subscribe to the website or do any of those other things, all we ask is that you please maybe comment, like, and subscribe the video so it tells YouTube, hey, people are liking this, mate. Show it to some more people. Even though no one's making any money out of this, let's show it to some more people because it keeps them on YouTube, right? That's how YouTube's thinking, right? So all you got to do is like, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, please. Just just do it, right? Trick the YouTube algorithm and we get shown to more people. So that's just how it's come across Maybe on my desk. Maybe a few shares. A few shares, right? That's how it's come across on my desk. That's what I've heard, right? So please do that now if you can. If you don't want it, that's fine, right? No one's pressuring you to do nothing, right? right. No one's, there's no pressure involved no in Matthew pressure. Brown. Matt Brown isn't even subscribed to our fucking website, mate. And he fucking sits here with us every week and says it to our face. So we, <laughs> we don't mind. We don't fucking mind, all right? All we ask is a like, comment, subscribe if you can, all right? Only if you can. <laughs> you sound like a fucking oh, George ex- Bush. Like, I reckon his name's Kyle, that guy. His trucks. Kyle, Kyle no, does trucks. He's like a 40-year-old, used to play heaps Football. of NRL. Yeah, and he's like- Third division. <laughs> played two games, Div 2, and he never forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's a prop. That's great. He's a prop. <laughs> Fuck, that was good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good, huh? <laughs> Fleshy bitch, a flesh. <laughs> I said flesh. <laughs> you see that, Matt? You <laughs> see that? <laughs> hey, Matt, say flesh. Flesh. Oh, you sound like flesh. a slight. <laughs> slight. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Do you realize okay. the comparison of we've just had bong break <laughs> and shit's just gone fucking out the window? <laughs> Your brain is still sinking the straight lines. Your brain is thinking sideways. <laughs> Oh shit, careful! Yeah, Fuck the chair! <laughs> 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 dude, you bend the oh, leg, no. you need a new one, dude. <laughs> Fucking chair, cunt! Oh, 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 try wait, see if it works now. <laughs> Try it. Looks like a man on his knees, and I've got his hands tied behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> There's his face there. <laughs> <laughs> it fully does, hey. Anyway, uh, questions. Sorry about that. Chair literally just broke underneath me. So. <laughs> <laughs> fucking kookaburra. I like the kookaburra. That was fucking great. I don't even remember what just happened, eh? Oh. If I if I use this to cut through this cord, this fire, would I electrocute myself? Probably. And you'll fuck your headphones. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do it. But it's just, it's an interesting thought. Ooh. Isn't it? Holy shit. Very interesting thought. I sort of want to do it. Uh, well, you know what? We can. Not right now, obviously. When we buy new things, we can break the old things. And that is why we are at the level we were at science-wise. Questions. So. All right. Um, top question came from Stephen Hunt. Um, he's, I think he's won a few top questions. Well done, Stephen Hunt. Anyway. Thank um, you. 
<clears throat> All right, question for the podcast: um, Has Matt ever considered going back to the uh, going to the Olympics for bounding backwards, it's considering he reaches speeds of eighty kilometers per hour? Well, I remember I've, you and I have had a conversation about this because obviously I said the same thing. It's like, dude, why aren't you like mega famous so you can run this fast? And first of all, it was during Matt's training where he was able to reach re- speeds of eighty kilometers an hour. You haven't trained for a while. Yeah, but you also don't want to, you know, catch the eyes of like governments who want to use you for you know but also you because you did look into it but it's it's you are not allowed to run backwards in in races it's not allowed it's breaking the rules so so that's why so that's it's it's he's literally not allowed to run backwards and he he cannot run forwards fucking pathetic at running forwards um a close second place was uh uh what is it Shano McCledge. How many? Can you tell uh, tell us how many likes these questions? Uh, are? Top comment got thirty six. Second <laughs> place was twenty seven. Because we should keep track of this and have a comment of the year award next season. Oh, that'd be so. Oh, I guess a I could question go question of the year. Actually, I you know what? Um, we could add that into uh, ep- uh, final season. I'm gonna write uh, that final down. episode I'm gonna one. Write that down. And I'll so. I'll dig through all all the episodes of the season and just find out which top comment was. It won't be that hard. It'll take like ten minutes. Um, com- Sorry about that one comment did you know matt here here at this house no the word here yeah if you're hearing it with your ears Mm. you take away the h what are you left with ear holy shit which is what you used to hear man duh read a book or something don't ever say that to me again i think it's pretty cool all right. Um, in second place, his comment was uh, Shano McCledge. Um, um, after the hilarious stories of Michael at the nightclubs, is there any chance of getting a weekly rendition of Munted Michael? There was also a similar question of asking uh, if we could get um, more stories of you guys out on the town. Yeah, that's a. We, we literally this- filmed a website video. Cool. We got we hotboxed our new van. We christened it, and um, we spoke of some of our munted stories so that some are on the website. But we got a few. We got a few we can talk about. What are, what else? What what were some of the ones we spoke about? There was one that I was like, oh fuck, we forgot. Well, to. Should we come like what, have a, can you should we have a think about these? Write them down and then maybe bring them out later. Well, let's just go off the cuff. I've got an idea. What was I like? Because I, I can't remember what you said, but you, I remember it being weird. Explain to me because I want to try and remember and really go into my head of how I was when I was munted. The night we took the blue pills from yeah. Who or what happened? But yeah, there was one night we got fucking we got these dark web pills off someone, and now he was he was like, "Be very careful; these are very very strong." And we said, <laughs> "Whatever." Yeah, the Down pills the had literally killed one of his friends the night before. Yeah, these same pills, one of them killed someone. Someone OD'd, right? Not that funny, but what happened to us is hilarious. So we take one. My, this is the night where Michael's asking for small dumbbells. Do you uh-huh. do you, you have that footage right? What of of Michael that night? You have some some video of him. I've got some footage in the you know what means the Christmas tree. You you with that fucking dude? You like the mon- most munted I've ever seen. Okay. I've got I've got footage of him at the Osborne <laughs> Hotel and he's sitting down. Yeah, Michael's. Oh yeah, find the video. We got to see it. Dude, yeah, yeah it's, it it's not. And then it's not entertaining as it sounds. No, but dude, it you is. You can fucking, see. What, it is a very good video. You can see the what you're like. Yeah. You can see the the yeah. It's just he's stopped working properly. <laughs> he's fucking. He can't talk to him. Nothing makes sense anymore. It's just fucking. And then everything's just forgotten anyway. So it's like, why do that? Why do yeah, that to ourselves? Dude, the Literally, clock broke. Fucking too many. Even what we took more than one. We ended up taking like two and a half each. There was a, look. We'll tell you this story, abbreviated version. There was one guy we were doing MD with, and he got to that stage where he forgot how many he had. So every ten minutes, he was taking another cap. Michael and I realized, and he's a very small guy, a little guy, right? Realized and stopped him, and then he literally woke up the next day. He arrived at midday to our house, woke up the next day at three p.m. And thought it was still the same day. <laughs> he, he, lost, he, he was like, a whole oh. day just went. He was like, oh, like, what the fuck? He had this huge swollen face from chewing his jaw. Huge. Oh, and he God. woke up and he, was like, he like, didn't say anything for a while. He was just sort of like, and, and then we're like, dude, last night, crazy. He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then we had to tell him that 
what happened? What? And he didn't believe us to begin with. He did not fucking believe us. It was sweet. Gone. The, it just complete it so- fucking amnesia. The 24 hours gone. And that's what MD is. Like, it is literally just a memory burn. Yeah, be I've fucking got, careful. Yeah, I've got early on. I'm going to have early onset dementia. Like, or See. Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flash, flash. Yeah, flash back. Yeah. See my flash biggest back. <laughs> my big fear is because I've been around you sober so many times. I'm usually Michael's hard to talk to, but Marty's very, very good at talking. <laughs> and so I have these beautiful conversations with him. But the whole time he says he's telling me how much of a struggle it is to go to the toilet, and that that fears me so much. Dude, oh, dude. it's only me though. I'm the only one I know. No. Fucking dude, there's been many times where you just can't piss. Yeah, yeah, but like I mean, I've, I've. It's, Marty Shami? stresses me out. Remember Shami's? I literally was like half an hour away from going to the fucking hospital because I was like, I need to piss so badly the next oh, morning. Oh, it's, it's like mid, it's like midday now, and it was like I couldn't even stand up straight. I'm hunched over every ten minutes. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go try again. Be standing there trying to clean my the nerve that releases your bladder just would not. Unclench. <laughs> Fucking terrible. It sucks, man. It's such a shit. And then finally, I remember the euphoria I felt when it started dribbling out a little bit. I was like, fuck yes. And it came out and then it was all good and we fucking started doing lines. Dude, I've been in like, <laughs> I've, I've, been, yeah. I've been in showers. That's like the way to piss. You just get in the fetal position and try and relax your whole body. And that's how I've had to piss many times. Yeah, and shitting. it's not a way to be, but look, yeah, be careful yeah, without we'll, doing get, too we'll, many. Look, everyone. we will we'll get some munted stories going, all right? Yeah, we'll, we'll think of some. We'll we'll just, ma- our memory's fucked. I'm on the spot, we will think of them. Oh, Matt Brown stood up. He's heading to the. He's being very tender. His head sideways. He's not See how he happy turns again. It? He's adjusting it again. Yeah, nice hands, slightly. Matt. He's just, oh, wow. He's not happy this episode. He's slowly using his left hand to rotate. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of phone shit. Oh, well, he's touching it. He's feeling that up a lot At today. At some point, the, the phone's gone sideways, maybe when you had your outburst before. Oh, he's Matt done. Brown stood back up. Well, he's oh, he's annoyed. He's frustrated. He's beckoning to us, us saying, what have you done? And we are unsure. We don't know what he's talking about. Now he's adjusting the entire well, stand. You're I'm feeling it. It does look like the world's on a slant. Telling me to move yeah, the table. To Is that right, Matt Brown? No, the table. Move the table. the table. Okay, he's becoming impatient. He's scratching his ears now. Stop. Yeah, okay, he's stopping. He's happy with the he's table positioning. Again. Now he's turning the phone, oh. the stand that moves the phone. Okay, it's on some sort of bracket and you yeah. need to loosen it. That's what he's doing right now. Oh, and now he's tightening it. Oh, he's throwing he's his arms on the air. He can't yeah, believe he can it. Pull the table back. Pulling the table close. He's asked us to pull the table closer. We'll do that now. Looking at that. More. Looking at the phone. He said more. Uh, still pulling closer. He hasn't told us stop. What are you he's thinking about, Matt? Stop. He said stop. What are you thinking of? He's looking very upset. Mm. What were you thinking mm. then? He's coming around. He's coming around to strike at us. I will have a feel if he gets close enough. I will have a feel. Mm. He's hit my hand away and he's walking back to the chair. He's looking back at the phone now. Still Man, zero. Man, you're annoying me being at the phone always. Get too off, many times. Get off your phone, Matt. Who cares if we're sideways, cunt? All that matters is the words coming out of our fucking souls. Yeah, well, sorry about the audio at the beginning. And the end. And the end. Oh, no. Look at Matt. He's grimacing like he's in pain. Oh, he's looking str- looking like this. Has he got a hood on? Yeah. A light hood. When did you put that on? It's tempting to spit at him right now. He's close to breaking. Oh, please. (laughs) I'm so dry. I've got fucking cotton mouth. Uh, Next question is from uh, Ali Shazad. Um, Has Matt Brown finally signed up to the university website? Nope. Nope. He hasn't. Next question. (laughs) How many likes did that one have? 20? um, it was jazz yeah, at 20, I think. Yeah. That was the third one. Maybe they want you to sign up, mate. Maybe they do. I don't know. It's been a while since anyone- Comment. Um, let us know if you want Matt Brown to sign up to the website. Uh-huh. Um, next one is from- um, This is from Eddie and Damon. Um, it's actually more of an advice question, if anything, but- here it goes. Um, he hasn't had a good week so far. He's having a difficult time at school. He's a big fan of you guys. He has a difficult time at school and he's being bullied a lot. 
And he says um, he's wondering if you guys could um, just give him some advice on how to deal with bullies at school. Stand up for yourself and don't worry. Like, high school, it seems like it's everything now. Fucking nothing. In yeah, 10 years' time, matter. you won't even- You'll be li- lucky to have a few friends from high school. You'll be doing other shit. So, as hard as it is, don't stress about it. High school's just- you, You're still a kid. You're a fucking child How still. old is he? He's in high school. He hasn't given me his name, but okay. I'm guessing it's high school. So, he's, at most, he's 17 or 18. He's a fucking kid. No, it's he'd be, like, be better, 15, 16, yeah. 17, something like that. So, just fucking hang in there and just try standing up for yourself too. Did wonders for Matt Brown. And you're a legend, dude. You watch us. Yeah, you must be a fucking good fuck. That's full bestness. All right. And that is we've, that. We've been getting a lot of bloody messages. Yeah, from actually- this goes out to anyone who's feeling down at the moment because so many people are reaching out. And Man, if you're thinking about suicide and any of that, just know like that there's people out there that will listen. And one three- Even message us. We try and get back to people, but like I, like I don't get to every message, but I'll message back. If you know? you're on the brink of suicide though, call fucking 13 Health. What's the mental health oh, lines? Lifeline, all those ones. Just fucking give them a buzz because you got someone to talk to. Yeah. But yeah, sorry to those people that have reached out to us lately. Yeah. We try and get through all the DMs, but <sighs> damn, baby. That's a lot. Um, for Australia, <laughs> it's Lifeline on 13, 11, 14. 13, 11, 14. All for right? Australia. If you're fucking that bad, call someone. It's the best thing you can do. Even if you don't want to talk about it, just start. And just think, there's so many podcasts that you'd miss. You have no idea how good next season is going to be, bro. Yeah, next season. He's, the, Matt will be on camera. Oh, yeah. His face is going to be a little giggle. Oh, I'm going to rip at his body. Oh, rip at his body. I'm going to tickle his neck. Oh, we're going to gang up on him and just fucking sexually assault him live. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm camera. not sitting anywhere near you. This <laughs> part of the contract. We also need to keep going with OnlyFans. You- the podcast oh, contract. Yeah. We, we will get some more content for that going yeah. soon. Yeah. Fucking oath we will, mate. Did you lick? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Next question. We're getting held up. Next question is from Harry. Uh, Harry Allard. 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 Um, will you guys ever start filming yourselves playing Toka for either your website or YouTube so people can watch it? It sounds entertaining. Yeah, we do. But like, you know, when we're hanging out with our mates and, and I've seen like comments saying, oh, you know, are you guys ever going to film your benders and stuff like that? When we hang out, we don't really hang out with that many social media people. Most of our very close friends are just regular people. And so, if we're pulling the camera out and, and like filming everything, it's sort of like- It's not It's a bit right awkward. It's, it's like, we don't want to be like, oh, hey, every time, hey, friends, every time we hang out, we could be potentially filming it. And we do have a few people that come along to that who aren't social media people well most of them yeah nearly exactly. all of them aren't so that's what i'm saying most of them aren't so people don't want to like have them themselves around people doing drugs if they have like a professional in some sort of career so as much as we would want to sometimes it's hard to film our seshing because most of our friends aren't social media people we have and sometimes people can't be themselves if you put a camera in front exactly of them. it's not easy it's not easy to be this fucking good can't i want to show you my dick that's how comfortable i am right oh, now. oh i thought you were that's how comfortable I am. I will happily show you guys my dick, but I won't out of Dude, respect literally, to you. When it is a, a bender or a boys trip, as soon as we get there, yeah, Marty phones, takes the clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> he's completely naked the whole time. And like, that's, that's it. Man, I am fucking- Pissing in the corner. Yeah, pissing everywhere. Yeah, he, he'll piss in every <laughs> single corner inside the house. Unless it's like how unless he does it's it. an Airbnb though, right? Yeah, yeah never unless at an Airbnbs. Airbnb. Yeah, well, hotels it was. We'll pay the clean up fees. We'll pay the clean up fees. I'll do it. Yeah. All right. Next question is from Taylor Dow. Um, Marty, can I just get a few quick intense? You! 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 Excellent. Next question is from Dr. Low Key. Um, boys, uh, hot or cold Milo? And could you quickly explain what Milo is for our overseas guests? Milo is a mul- chocolate. multi chocolate powder that you mix with milk and it turns into like a milkshake thing and cold. Yeah, cold. Although hot Milo, it it it, it uh, blends better. I'm yeah. cold. I'm a cold. I don't cold really. Heart. I'm not get the. Like, okay, Nesquik or Milo? Nesquik. Fuck off, Michael. Nesquik is so good. I don't get why people Nesquik? have Nesquik. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Nesquik no, for no, sure. People have Milo without sugar and it's wrong. 
What? Yeah. You're gonna put sugar on it? Otherwise, it's just as fucking. You're eating a bloody nah, that, sugar that's with some weird German shit. That's that some is German weird German shit. shit. That's what because. Sucks here, here. Fuck you. What sucks to do here? <laughs> the reason why. The Heises get hate from me. <laughs> that's why. I reckon Milo in. Milo in fucking Germany is sugar. So that's why he got angry when he came here. And we're like, Milo, not Milo. And then he puts sugar in with his Milo. Wait, you mean it's he, brown sugar? Yeah, that's what it is in Germany. It's just fucking sugar. <laughs> that's what Milo is. We, we did not know. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, fucking fuck. Milo boy. Oh, very okay. good. Let me write that down. Oh, Matt's looking at him, muttering to himself. No, he's writing something down. No, I've got to write down the good moments so I can remember where to look for clips. Um, next question is from the podcast. The Bear Bad Man? The bear bad the man. The bear bad man. Uh, why don't you guys ever drink or do drugs on the podcast anymore? Well, uh, well we smoke like a bit of weed, weed. And alcohol was sort of, you know, it's a very, it's an every now and then thing for us now. And um, yeah. And we'll like drugs. <laughs> maybe like, yeah, we'll do next season. We'll, we'll think of maybe even like, yeah, I guess it's hard because it's just the come down sucks. But we'll have maybe in season Four, we'll do a drinking one again. Yeah. Maybe at the end of yeah, it. Yeah, we'll do a drinking and drug one. We'll at just call the it- the end, you guys will turn into maniacs. Yeah, you gotta do it like at a on an off you know, an odd number one. And instead of mm. uh bong breaks, we'll have lion breaks. Mm. And skull breaks. Exactly right, cunt. Head and drinking. Oh man, it'd be so hard to be on camera. Like I reckon we wired as hell. We're, right, we're, yeah, anyway. We'll do next it. Next question is from Ryan Hart. Um Boys, how did the special cookies go, fellas? I believe Angela was the one who sent some cookies in. Yeah, I yeah. Hope it was Angela. Angela. Yeah, they were very nice. Very we, nice. We we um we down the bag pretty quick. Um, and after we had one, we're like, oh fuck, we're we're really putting a lot of trust in that the, the, there's just you know there's well, just special cookies. Definitely Angela, her so. name just had a nice ring to it. Yeah, and she seemed friendly. Safe. She genuine. seemed friendly. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, we got. She did message good. and ask how that how you guys. Yeah, like yeah. They were, they were very nice, yeah. Angela. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Angela. Next question is from Miles. Um. Imagine if there were no laws, what would you do first? I would I would attack the closest person. I think. So just to see, well, just to see, like, not you guys, the first stranger, like stranger. I see. Just because you can. There's and no it's just, consequence. I feel like a primal animalistic part of me would be released and I would uh, go on a rampage. <laughs> Fuck, A man. brutal, violent rampage. And it's just, you just want to know what it feels like to kill another man. So, you'd, it'd be a man. It's funny. You, it's funny you I, say I, that. I, I can't say that for sure. It's, it's really funny you say yeah. that. I, I um, grew up with this guy who's also, his name was Matt. And um, when, he, when he used to get really fucked up, he would, um, I'd drive him home sometimes. And every now and then, not all the time, but every now and then this animal side would come out. And he said, and he used to go, Matt, first person we see just pull over i'm gonna fucking punch him <laughs> like, he'd just become a fucking maniac what did he and, do it no 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 i would never of course i would never pull over i have too kind <laughs> of a heart Matt did but that. yeah but he was he would just be so serious he's like first person we see i'm gonna punch him w was you know, he like, actually gonna do it he of course he would wow. yeah he was a, he was a really good dude but yeah sometimes an animal would come out and it'd be, it'd be hilariously funny to listen to him, but he, I would never pull over. <laughs> Maybe once. I'd, and I'd go looting. I'd go rob some shit. Yeah. <laughs> There'd be such rushes doing shit. I'd, I'd love to. No, I just rocks and glass. That's all you need. I'd just rock people's rock houses. I'd go look at places I'm not allowed to go. Smash windows, man. Yeah. You just smash glass with rocks. It'd be so fun. It'd never get boring. Think about it. Do you reckon I can make that shot? Like, we'd have to we'd have to very quickly gather a, a, a huge collection of people of security to help us yeah and then we can as a unit go <laughs> yeah. around and Just rape and pillage and do whatever we want <laughs> oh, 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 viking stuff like the germans yes <laughs> <laughs> no not like the germans the germans are a changed people and it is it is the rest of the world that is still misunderstanding the german core all right, oh. us Germans are very gentle, loving creatures now, <laughs> and you Aussies need to back off. You cunts, you cunts are convicts. Yeah, next, that's true. Yeah. Next question we is great. Talk. Um, next question is from Marco Marty. When you wake up in the morning, do you feel German or do you feel Australian? That's a great question. Oh wow, 
No, I definitely feel Australian like to the core cunt. Do you know what I mean? I've got a bit of a German flicking around in me mullet. But other than that, I'm pretty much Aussie. Like, I haven't even been back to see family for ages. And, like, my German, I've, I forget a lot of it. Like, am I talking and stuff? How much percentage do you talk German to your mum? To mum? It depends. If there's no other English people around, we will speak German. But that's the only person I do that with now. I've noticed your mum speaks German, even, like, if you're off to the side a bit. Yeah, yeah. If we're having just a one-on-one convo, mm. usually um, it's German. But obviously, if there's English people around, it would be quite rude of us to do that. Is it strange for you to have conversations with your mum in English? No, Is it like seeing notice. a new person? Do you no. freak out? He'd be so used to it. Yeah, I don't even notice, cunt. My brain, right, just fucking flips on me, cunt. I feel it rotating, brother. What, <laughs> your brain moves yeah, around yeah, like yeah. that? Uh, it's German's Northern Hemisphere brain and Australia's Southern Hemisphere brain, brother. <laughs> Oh, 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 fucking see. magnets and shit, can't. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. It's like fucking magnets in my fucking belly, can't. <laughs> 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 Fuck off, can't. <laughs> yeah, he just turns. <laughs> Does a little fucking flip on me, can't. <laughs> Does it go like that too? <laughs> Is it fully yeah, 360? Yeah, it's like in a, it's in a socket. It's in a socket. Got turn anyway. It won't count. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm glad. I'm glad about that. <laughs> Next question is from uh, Dara Glynn. Dara Glynn? Yeah, yeah. Dara 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 Glynn. Yeah. 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 Michael, if Marty ever did shave your head, how would you think you would react? Oh, such sadness. Yeah, he'd be so I'd sad be so and disappointed down. and he wouldn't leave his room for about three months. <laughs> yeah. I'd just fuck it. I'd, yeah, I'd start a gaming channel. It wouldn't take- You'd have to wear a wig for ages. <laughs> yeah, you could change your whole identity. <laughs> 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 All right, next question is from Katie Williamson. Um, this one's been asked before, but then she asked a backup question as well, which made it sound like it could be interesting. Um, what dog breed is Bosley? He's a boxer cross wolfhound, but she asked, what's the funniest thing he has ever done? Oh, very good question. Bosley used to be the biggest fucking naughtiest little fuckwit in his first like two years of life. He was a fucking... I couldn't get him to do anything that I wanted. It took many years of molding that cunt and Holy spending shit. a lot of time with him. He was a... He never listened. But the funniest thing that I ever saw at a dog park once, he was like a year old, so he was pretty big. This is the girl, little yeah. girl. <laughs> and there was a girl with a ponytail and she was like running along and wiggling her head around and Bosley ran up behind her thinking it was like a tug, tug of war toy or something. And grabbed it in his mouth and his paws hit her back and she's fucking face planted gone. Oh, how old is she? She would have been like six. Man. Oh, I wish I was there to see that. that would have been, been so good. And yeah, he would, would have sometimes have he would, he would at parks, like we would sometimes, me and, me and Lukey would go to these massive parks. Like, so there's just like so much area and Bosley wasn't used to being in such a big area. So he would literally just fucking run away. He'd go run away <laughs> and I'd find him with like another family. And like, I'd be like annoyed because I'd be like, Bosley, Bosley. And he would never come back. So I'd start getting frustrated and Bosley could hear the frustration in my voice. So he'd want to stay away from me and made it worse. Uh... So like, so I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm, I'm holding back rage, being like, Bosley, you're embarrassing me. Everyone's fucking looking at us. <laughs> Hello, darling. Oh, 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 oh. He thought you were upset at him. <laughs> oh, Bosley. Oh, my sweetie pie. And he'd be like, so I'd be like, fighting back rage. And then he, and then I'd have to, there were times I'd running to fucking catch him and then I'd have to grab him. And everyone's staring at us, and very calmly try and fucking take him back out of the park. But yeah, man, fucking mission. Oh, man. No. Very good. Um, next question is from Matthew. Well done. Um, I have a question for Michael. Michael, why are you so scared of the dentist? Who isn't scared of the Yeah, I think man. we all are. Think, oh, actually, I have met people. Girls oh, like it's it. It's cool, man. It's cool. I like I've having- had girlfriends in the past that generally enjoy the dentist. The anesthetic Get doesn't clean, work. mate. The anesthetic doesn't work. Even the cleans hurt a bit. My gums are the all cleans tender. The cleans are freaky. They're, they're my gums are all tender and they got a hook that they use. Dude, the hook can get fucked. Yeah. You don't use that. They it's don't even just, they don't even like, they don't even just put it in gently. 
They stab it in, st- like hook to into see your if you've got shit. to see if you've got a cavity. Just relax. Yeah, just go soft. If it's not hurt, if it's not take going a, through, leave it alone. Take a biopsy, cunt. You don't need to be fucking around with a hook, you bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not Peter Pan, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a shame you swore so, so much. So, so angry at her. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Next question is from <laughs> Cody Northcott. Um, I'm a big fan of the drunk Olympics video. Would you ever do a drugged up Olympics video? <laughs> Maybe, like, imagine doing it on mushrooms. Oh, it's always a sounds like a good idea, but then when we're on mushrooms, it would be like, no, no, we're not fucking filming. Oh, 100%. Like- but we sh- if we could fight through that, it would be very funny content. All right, next question is from James, Captain Kirk Patrick. Um, question for the podcast. Uh, I don't think you guys are going to be able to answer this. I can because I think I've seen all three. Um, what film do you like best? Scarface, Goodfellows, or The Godfather? I've seen- <laughs> I don't even know. Which oh, let's one start seen. with number one. Have you guys ever seen Scarface? I yes. Don't know. Okay. Have you ever seen Goodfellas? Is that where he goes? Yes. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Al Pacino. Yeah, I've seen that one. All right, and Goodfellas. Yeah, please. Tell it's me. got the dude from Home Alone in it. De Niro. Yes, it yeah, does I've have the dude it. from. Yeah, De Niro's in it too. Yeah. De Niro's in all of them. No. Yep. No. Okay. Um, the Godfather. The Godfather. Today I brew come my water's dang. Mamma, mamma, me, and I said, lead, 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 lead. I feel like you're on the right track, but you're not. <laughs> Since you guys can't answer that, I'll answer it for you. I think Goodfellas is probably the best out of the three, as epic as The Godfather is. But I'm going to tell you right now that Scarface shits all over Goodfellas. It doesn't. I haven't seen all the Godfathers, so I'm not going to talk about that, but Scarface. Scarface is entertaining and a little bit of action, but it, it doesn't hold up to Goodfellas. It's one of the best gangster films ever made. I must say, I can't remember what happened in Goodfellas. Exactly. But there's probably a reason, right? I can remember what happens in Scarface. There Saw that go, once. Baby. I've seen Goodfellas right. probably five times in my life. Memory doesn't lie, bitch. Tell me what happens in Scarface. He fucking... It's, it's uh, GTA Vice City. <laughs> That's how I know Scarface. No, I have oh. seen it too. He goes to... He works... He works, there's, does he? There's a scene where he's at like a little hot dog caravan stand. Next question is from Justin Bradford. Um, has Michael ever gone to the doctor for his toenails or is he afraid they might amputate them? No, I don't think it's needed. He just rips them off and they heal. It's, it's, a, it's a tried and tested method. Is there, is there an issue yeah, Why would you go there? It's already, it's fi- it's done. It's, it's, it's fixed. Is there an issue if we keep ripping them off? <laughs> no. No one knows, I don't Matt. think so. It's like, unbelievable. I've been doing it for a long time. Is, they not grow back is, No, day? no, they, they grow back. There's no nail. And then one day there's a little bit of nail. Yeah. He weird. wakes up and there's nail there. This follow, the next question follows up beautifully for that one. Uh, it's from Matt Dog 99 <laughs> um, What's wrong with Michael? Was he dropped on the head as a baby? I don't think I reckon it's I don't think you were a baby. damage done, but hey. I don't think you were a baby. You came out a teenager. I have <laughs> said that. Thirteen years he crawled out of his mum's cunt. Uh quick oh. one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man, you say some fuck C bombs. <laughs> Next question is from Ali Ferguson. Uh, just quickly, when does a podcast come back from Christmas? It's usually around the start of February. Yeah, start of Feb, a couple of weeks into Feb. We'll definitely keep you updated. Um, next question from Ellen Hall. Uh, hi, guys. I did the podcast. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Just cut that one, Connor. Uh, that was a mistake. We've already gone over it. Um, and we're back. Next question is from John Roberts. Um, boys, your thoughts on Squid Game? Haven't Squid watched games. it yet, but we've heard a lot of friends say some good shit about it. <laughs> Maybe it's time we watched it, baby. I haven't seen it. You got to read it, so you won't like it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just turn the. No, there is an English dub version. It's yeah, shit house. Said it's you got to do the Korean. Yeah. Is that Korean one on Netflix or is that yeah, the dub one? Both. Both are on there. Yep. So I have to search for the dubbed one, or is- you just turn it on. Turn the TV on, and it knows. He's you not, turn it on and then TV. you got to- He's got LG. I've so. got a new TV. Shout oh. out to Reese for giving me some beautiful discounts at JB Hi-Fi. Thank you very much, my friend. Yeah, I'll wink wow. to you. If you really need to walk me, me to walk you through it, I will. Nah, but you Look, just- look. I've heard the brunt of it. Just turn the TV on. Yeah, you'll be able to figure it out. <laughs> I'll Google it. <laughs> I'll Google it. 
Aku kena. Aku Google. Aku Google. Aku Google. Aku Google. Aku Google. All right, concentrate. The next question is a tough one. Wait, wait, stop. We're not leaving this. With... Yes. Wait, give it a go. We've been here for three hours. No, let me just do three more. A Google. Google. A Google. A Google. It's nice. Have one turn. Please, Matt. No. <laughs> we'll Google it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We'll Google it. It's so nice. That's, yeah, nice thing to say. Good sound. All right. <laughs> we'll Google it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, all right. <laughs> we'll Google it. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't put your heart yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah, I hate it. Don't half ass. It's oh, fucking stupid. Because I hate it. <laughs> All right, let's move on quickly. Read the next fucking question. <laughs> Not until Michael calms yeah, I'm down. To calm down. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. We're going. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go home. Here we go. Quickly! <laughs> God, he's looking at me. Oh. People can't see that. Sorry. Next question is from Josh Kiao. Kiao, Kiao. Continue. I was up here. Oh. Where you go? Oh, got excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought he was going for a squirty. Next question is from Josh. Would you. Oh, this is. Can you just concentrate for this? Because this is a lot to take in. All right. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Would you Fine. rather fight a chicken every time you get in a car? Or fight one orangutan per year, but you get a sword. No way. I just fight the chicken. And like, it's so really? easy. Yeah, it just it flies in. Every you time you get in the car. Snake and twist it. Done. Every, every time you get oh, in the car. No, no, I couldn't kill a chicken every day, dude. What? No. Wait, orangutan, I, you might die, man. I, dude, you've wait, got a you sword. You don't have to kill the chicken. You could easily like- No, you've got just, to kill it. You if you miss with a bag, sword, you put him in a bag. Oh, he, does, no, he does specify fight. So yeah, you probably wouldn't have to. You could oh, okay. Do well, there you go. I just, just grab it. Grab just open it. the open the windows and it flies I'll out. Grab it and put it under my arm. If you had arm. to fight an orangutan, it would be to death, and that's fucked. Yeah, that's and hard. if you miss with the sword swipe, Fuck you are you, fucking yeah. dead. They kill you. Yeah, they're, they're powerful. That's it. I, You're I dead. feel confident with that. Chicken, sword. Right. Well, you grab it, put it in a bag, and then get on. <laughs> with your we'll day. see if we can get that organized, mate. <laughs> oh man, in Thailand. Yeah, you'd have to train with swords and shit. Who's got time for that? Oh wow, I'm so confident. Fucking hell. Matt okay. does have a lot I of guess, skills. He's like Jason Bourne. Yeah. He doesn't look like it, but he can fucking- uh, Yeah, we, well, they're trained up. Well, exactly. Require. Exactly. 100%. He's taking down bald cunt. Hmm. Okay. Next question is from Dr. Quiet. Um, will you ever do a uh, challenge punishment video where Michael versus Julian- um, They said not Fortnite because Julian's too good at it, but Michael versus Julian in some type of video gaming where a punishment goes to the loser- um, yeah. Follow up. Um, why is it so funny that Julian is embarrassed about being a nerd? Well, it's just because he, the way he presents himself, is such a non-nerd. That's why she also funny. adds. Why is he so embarrassed about being a nerd when he has literally given a grown bald man a lap dance while in drag? Well, that is on the website, and yes, Julian did give Matt Brown a, a fucking a, good a, one too. Not bald on buzz cut. It's just a bit missing. Yeah, I'm self-conscious. Sorry, wigs. Next question is from Hunter Hot. Cut that, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I say leave it in. Let's sacrifice him for a laugh for many. Let's leave that in. <laughs> leave it in. <laughs> Sorry, Hunter. Um, oh, my. Next question is from, from Billy Instance. Uh, can a human bee be a bee or simply bee bee? Could one fly a fly or fly more fly? Look, we've been through this, right? We, you can use bee as examples to be more bee because bees in bees. But just generally, everyone can be more bee. Just it's bee. the start of everything because human beings. We said it last time. Human beings. So, before, was that fly in flying? It's... B it it's came irrelevant. out of B. Flies are relevant. Flies can B be is as the well. main part. Flies can be B. Do you know what I mean? So, they, yeah, they both so. fly. Next question is from Air Force One. Um, this is good. 
Um, can you guys try summoning the devil for a video or maybe some demons? I by would- doing an actual ritual with candles, devil's star drawn on the floor, reading some kind of demon ritual Dude, script. Dude, I would fucking love to do that in a cemetery, but this fucking doggy won't stay by my side through Yeah, I'll be out of that too. I'm way Dude, too scared. Dude, I have- <laughs> We Man. fucked with shit before and I'm not fucking Guys, with it again. If you want to listen to a great YouTube channel, Mr. Ballon, fucking obsessed with him. He's such mm. good paranormal stories. Those stories are fucking crazy. Yeah. Crazy. He's yeah, he's blown up. He's massive now. He's like four million subscribers in a year or something. His stories are that good. Anyway, oh shit. But yeah. Oh no. It's okay, he still works. No. Dude, that was a gift. Still works. Jono, we're sorry, mate. I'll glue it. It's fixable. Yeah, Fine. it's just a bit of super glue, which we've got lying around every which way and where. What's Why did wrong? you do that? What's wrong with, with you? you? Why did you do that? I don't know. I was trying to like put an exclamation point yeah, at the end of the it's sentence. Yeah, like making a point. It. Okay, I'm cool with it. That's all right. All right, next question is from Lachlan Hardy. Um, <laughs> Hard. Question is for Matt. How can one be brown? Can you be brown by browning? Um, being brown, and yet you're born brown. <laughs> you could marry into brown. But you're mostly born brown. Oh wow! Which is being, being. So, interesting conundrum. It's B starts. They both have B's. Well, B is at the beginning, and B is B, the whole word. Beginning. See what? See what I mean? Beginning. You can't have beginning without B. <laughs> yeah, fuck. And that should be on a toaster. You said B on a toaster too. B. Next pen. question is from Matthew Knowles. Um. Question for both the boys. Um, what is it like being around a famous per- sports person? Um, do you ever get nervous at all? So, obviously, you were around a fair few sports people for your um, which dangerous sport in the world? Oh, yeah, it depends what they were. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes we get a bit nervous because, like, we, we're not used to performing in front of others. But, um, and, you know, we'd have to talk and present and shit. But, um, yeah, it's fine. They're I was there legends. for um, uh, f- uh, the Fayenga. Um, Say finger, yeah, yeah. He's a and legend. He was so easy. He made it so easy. Even yeah. I was. I thought I'd be He's really nervous, but he was dude. so nice. Yeah. He did the most damage. <laughs> yeah, we, <though. laughs> yeah, we kissed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, broken rib. Thanks, mate. All right. Next question is from Gr Freeman. <laughs> One. Um, would you rather the Backstreet Boys or Boys to Men have their way with you? Part two to the question: Would you prefer they? Would you prefer they did this in silence? Or they serenade you while they're having their way with you. I prefer Backstreet Boys and definitely in silence. If there's, if, wait, I, wait. if I can take my mind to a place where I don't have to think about what's happening to me, <laughs> being in complete silence will definitely help that. You are my fire. Uh, actually, maybe I should. Okay. The one. I'll give yeah. them a message. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't know. I'd should I message point. them and say, want to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you message the- I'll, I'll, I'll tweet it on Twitter. I've been loving the tweets lately. Hey, at back street boys. Here they are. Comma. Wanna fuck? Hashtag fuck. Hashtag fuck the boys. Will you get banned for hashtagging fucks on there? I don't know. Is swear words illegal now? Well, they have porn on Twitter. So I'm yeah, just no, like- but I don't know if they say fucking on there. Anyway, let's see if yeah, they respond. We, we may have put that in motion then. So, yeah. great, great question. No, they've replied. Oh, <laughs> I'm so- Have they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Hunter, I'm going to redeem myself for my cut question before because I didn't realize you asked two questions and the other one is very good. Next question is from Hunter Height. Um, scientifically, which would win in a death match, a Wombat or Michael? Mm, Michael's current state, I think he wins. Michael, yeah, I'd just even a year it. ago? I'd kick it as hard. No, they are heavy, man. You wouldn't be able Dude, to kick it. You'd have to, get, you'd have to get down on all fours and use your hands, man. Really? Yeah, Very be, fast, too. You, you kick it in the head, it's like kicking a bowling ball. It's like steel a jiu-jitsu match. Yeah, if you have steel Straight cap boots. to the jaw. But still, <laughs> they- they, Dude, they, they catch are, legs. They are compact and very yeah, I've seen them. thick I love skulls. Them. I think it would be really hard to do it. We'd have to. If we go to Tassie, we'll have to go see them. Yeah, they right, look, look well, there's only one way to. Look, I'll try and I'll try and organize I'm it. I'm not fighting a wombat because you, you know you lose. Man, you might not have a choice. They are. The, they, that's where jujitsu comes from. Is oh, wombats? Man. They're so beautiful. It's like Bosley. That's what a wombat is to me. Bosley's a Bosley. just out here now after I was screaming his name. <laughs> he thinks he's in trouble. <laughs> he thinks I want him closer. <laughs> oh, that's fucked. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, you sits in my bed comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Next question is from Matthew Fisher. Marty, why the hell would your parents move you and them from pretty Germany to fucking Australia where there's lots of spiders and snakes? I do not understand. The, the, uh, like, Man, if you think about it, imagine you had to be in what, half a city the whole time. Yeah, well, the wall had just come down. It was very volatile there. So, we were just like, bro, let's get out of here, dad said to mom and me. I was like three and he's like, bro... Get your shit, man. I've got a fucking cab waiting, you little dickhead. <laughs> I said that in German. And then off we went. Yeah, that was translated to Australian. Yeah. There's no way you'd say that. But like, yeah, spiders and snakes rather that than fucking the Russians with guns. <laughs> Ach du lieber, die Russen. Die, um, die Russen sind hier. Oh, oh, Papa, die Russen sind hier. <laughs> oh. Next question is from Daniel Kalad. Um... Michael, why doesn't why do you think Julian doesn't return the love you give? Oh, he's just a different personality. He's scared that he'll like it. Next question. <laughs> and the final question is from Tyson Williams. You are the last one of the day. Um, Michael. Feels like question time's gone. Yeah, up. man. This is like <laughs> This is we like an hour of We're going to go straight into PO box and oh. stuff. Michael, um, do your neighbors ever question the screaming and shit? I don't know. I- well, they haven't said anything. That that one neighbor is always very friendly and polite and they all are. They yeah, all have been very awesome. nice so far. So, no, I think I think we're good. it's like there's a bit more room here. So our fucked up and they knew who a couple of them knew who we were when Michael moved in so they knew what to expect sorry about the van for our neighbours <laughs> oh yeah yeah I'll, I'll, have, I'll have that fucking thing wrapped around a tree cunt <laughs> I'm, sorry, <laughs> I'm fucking head on cunt <laughs> goes from just yeah well, I guess we'll, right. we'll get rid of the van alright <laughs> <laughs> that's it alright now guys usually we have far more segments than this but we just got the PR boxing then the prank call um, what other segments do we usually do? Uh, we usually have German segment, explanation segment. I've thrown a bit of both in the questions. Okay. Um, well, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. So we've we're fucking we're, we're getting back to our structure soon. It was just this one's taking so long and we're so so silly right now. Yeah, we're actually was... not too bad. We're about an hour and forty minutes of footage. I reckon. <laughs> oh, in total. So then yeah, you cut it all down. The, as if we cut all that down, it'd be about an hour, thirty, hour and forty. All right, so okay. it's not bad. And just remember, guys, the prank call is in not that good of audio, but just fucking, it's not bad. It's not bad. Anyway, the next segment has been renamed to the PO Unboxed. <laughs> segment. Ow. Sorry. And there's a segment where we open the things that you send to our PO Box live on the podcast. And someone suggested that we should get PO Box gloves. I love that suggestion. Can someone send us some gloves? Because it's scary opening this shit. We had fucking like a vacuum cleaner shit. We had pubes all over the floor. Oh, we still have that bag. We still, we look, open. I can see pubes on the desk still. Oh, yeah. There's the hair and shit. There's piss here. So some gloves would be lovely. It's fi- oh, it's the foot skin. Oh, it's the foot skin. What's wrong go. with us? There's something that you don't hear. We should start building a person. Yeah. That's a good idea. But thank you. All right. The this, fully actual mascot. All right. This is a letter from Harry. <coughs> All right, Marty and Michael, I enclosed three pictures of you, Aussie pair, and would kindly request you to sign them since I'm quite a big fan of your content. And once you sign those three photos, return them to return address. It may cost you a bit, but I don't give a fuck about that. Send me those fucking pictures signed, you fucking dickheads. I've watched like 15 of your podcasts, you stupid bitch. <laughs> yeah, he didn't say that. He said, oh, damn. He said, it I may cost it. you a, a bit, but it's got to be worth it to me once I have these pictures sent to my door. Thanks for keeping the fans happy. With best wishes. Damn it. I really wish he did say that. I, was, I had this high respect for him all of a sudden. Uh-huh. Uh, he said the letter basically says the same thing. So, we'll leave that on. And he's got a printed picture of uh, me striking Michael in the skull with a baseball bat. That's nice. Uh, a picture of us um, under some sort of uh, drugs. That's very nice. And here, right before we um, became the best men in Brisbane and slotted a goal at the AFL Grand Final to help the Richmond Tigers win. Guess he doesn't get my signature. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the- holy shit. Do you want Matthew Brown? He's not getting it. Anyway. Matt's, Matt's putting his foot down, cunt. Um, do you know down. how? I don't know. I've never sent a letter. I fucking don't know how to do that. Yeah, what do we do there? And like, where's the envelopes and stamps and shit? Don't we need that? Yeah. We'll just email you our autograph. 
If you send us uh, on- Oh, a- do you know what? They're on paper. If you sign them, I will get them online and you can email to them. There you go. And that's um, got a scanner? A scanner? I want to say a scanner. Can- What's his name? Jaw. Jaw. Can you- <laughs> <laughs> Harry. Um, oh, what the fuck? Can, dude, can you um, message the fully actual podcast, say you're the guy that wanted the pictures signed and give me- And I'll talk to you and get your email and I will email you the signed pictures for you to print out. Is that- That'll be so much easier. Is, that's not real then. It's just like a- A picture of our autograph. Yeah, it's a, it'd be a copy. <laughs> That's so shit, the Fucking dude. autographs, though. Like, it's fucking- I can't even remember. Like, remember that time that kid was like, can I have your autograph to Jackson? And then Jackson just- his hands were full. So, I, I wrote Jackson's name <laughs> and handed it back to him. I just wrote Jackson and then handed it back to him. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> I'll do the autograph, mate. It's all good. <laughs> so just write our names, Harry. <laughs> and that's our autograph, is what I'm trying to say. All right, next box. It's a fucking shoebox. <laughs> all right, this is a shoebox, and I'm fucking nervous as fuck to pull this out. That's how that ends. That ends with him having to write our fucking names. Oh, I'm really nervous for. Oh my God. Yeah, okay, this. It's a Dr. Martin's box. It's a Dr. Martin's box, which is cool. Are there Doc Martin's in there though? No, I don't, I don't think fucking oh, think so. I'm There's so sticky scared. tape here from uh, Hold the hold the lid so if you untape oh, it man, it doesn't I'm fucking shoot terrified. out. I'm just going to sh- point this towards you, Michael, cuz I don't want to open it towards me. I understand. Me. <laughs> oh. We have ourselves. I don't know if I can hold this up. Hopefully this Oh, it's a use. dildo. We have a uh, big dick dildo. Um, that's sense. So thank you. And um, no, oh, oh. <laughs> was that you? There's a massive beetle in there. Oh my god! Scuttling around. I'm scared to inhale. Eh? Like, look. Oh, are there shirts? Manchester Revival. I read. Where Winchester Revival? Oh, is this his band? It is them. Well, I think oh, I saw a it was DM. So nerve wracking. I think I saw a DM oh, from them. I think I saw a DM from them saying, "We love your shit. We're sending you some shirts." And then I reply, "So that's where that name is for me. Thank you very much." And at Winchester Revival, W I N Chester R E V I V A L, Winchester Revival on Instagram. Give them a listen. They're a fucking pretty damn good rock band. All right, and they're touring. They're oh, they fucking touring now. All right, let's read the letter. To Marty and Michael, fully actuanal. Oh, that's clever. Our band Winchester Revival have been long-time listeners of your podcast and we fucking love you. Anyways, here's a sentimental surprise at the bottom of our package for you. It's come with us to many shows and we believe it gives us good luck. But it's time to pass it on to you, legends, and maybe one day you'll come to one of our shows and bring it along. We can all reunite with it. We already miss the smell. We also threw in some of our merch for you. Listen to our latest EP called The Way We Used to Rock. It's good, like fully actual good cunt. Tell Matthew Gregory Brown to lay off the hemorrhoids. Warm cum regards, Winchester Revival. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, thanks, done. guys. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh. So the dildo is from their shows. Yeah, we'll fucking keep that, and it'll it'll we won't be able to put it in videos because Zuckerberg will fucking rip our hearts. Well, maybe out. we go watch them one night. And we'll take it to back. Yeah, let us yeah, can reunite us, it. DM us when you're in Brizzy, boys, and we'll see if we can come to a show. Fuck yeah. All right. Old school rockers, you don't see them anymore. When's yeah, the last time miss, you? Yeah, when's the last time bands? You, Where are bands? When's now? the last time you heard a fucking guitar solo, cunt? Huh? Matthew, answer me, cunt. On his in Spotify a fucking league. new song, in a new song, cunt. Yeah, in a new you can't song. fucking answer it. That's it's the end possible. of the fucking PO box, cunt. All right, prank call. Fucking all right, guys. Ready and cue the bad audio now. And now we leave you with this final message. What? that we will be doing the prank call. Oh, I will be telling the person. We've never done this before. We've done a version of this. I'll be telling the person that I've tracked at the beginning of the call. The first time we did it, he didn't tell. And then I'm just going to say and do whatever the fuck I want and get progressively more fucked up. Okay? That's the plan. I don't know how it's going to go. Fuck. And we weren't sure if this is like offensive to to rest people, but we thought to ourselves, fuck it. There's not that many of them. We can deal with this. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so here we go. That's exactly what we said. 
Because not that many doesn't matter if they hurt their feelings. It's, it's just a joke. Oh, fuck. It's just, it's for laughs. I'm sorry. I'll be in my room now. <laughs> hey, mate. I'm just wondering, do you guys do um, uh, pick-up orders? Yep. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, exactly, mate. Sorry, just before we continue, I'm, I'm, I'm just got, like, I've got I actually have Tourette's, so if you hear like weird ticks and stuff, that's that's just what it is. I have Tourette's, so if you if you hear weird ticks and stuff, that's just what 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 it is. Um, okay, so can we start? <laughs> I, I, I've, I've I've seen the menu before, so I sort of. Rough idea, um, but yeah. Oh. <coughs> yeah, right. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. No. Um, <coughs> what was that? Sorry. Uh, let's go 200 grams for that one, please. <coughs> um, just medium rare for that one. Yeah, you. fucking pick out. Shut up, fucking pick out. Um, I'll go fries on the side, please. Are you serious? Um, yeah, the pep. Do you guys still do? Stop that pep Stop that pep Still do the peppercorn sauce. Yeah, that's right. You did say that before. Anything else? Yeah, mate. Um, do you guys still do? You still do the? I fucking tapped it. I put it there, bitch. You guys still do the curly fries? Yeah. Okay, great. Can I just get a massive, <laughs> massive serving of the curly fries, please? I'll also get um sorry man, this is a bad episode. Um guys get um you guys you guys don't do pizza at all, do you? <laughs> oh, well um I'm just after a couple of salads as well. <laughs> you guys still do the um the bloody the salads are right? what salads do you guys have in here? Right, right. Okay, I'll look, look, put me down. Bring it up, because I'm going to split it down. It's my dick. Um, I'll just get two uh, of the Caesar salads, please. Um, I'll go to large, thanks. Yes, please, with the chicken. Yeah, mate, um, I'll, I'll just get a few drinks as well. Do you guys have, like... <laughs> we can't see it anymore! It's right in my ass! Do you guys still do um, drinks, obviously? Do you guys do 1.25 litres? <laughs> oh, I'm pissing! I'm pissing white on blood! So we got Right, well, just, I'll just get a bottle of the Coke there, please. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. you just read that order back to me? Okay, great. And then could, well, I'll just get one more steak if I could. Um, well, what other types is this? You got ribeye. Oh, oh my God, this is broken. I broke it down. Somebody call the police. Yeah, so we got ribs here, and we've got rice steak, and we've got some stew on the side. Oh, there's so much going on. I can't see this. Oh, my God. My tongue feels like a tart. My tongue is swollen like the inside of my heart. All right, well, I'll get a rump then. The rumps are pretty big, aren't they? Yeah, it's pretty big. I fucked it! I fucked it down the drains! Look, mate, I might just call you back if that's right. I'm just having a bit of trouble. I might just have to pull you back if that's it. No worries, so just put that one on hold, sorry. sorry. No worries, chat soon.
Oh, dude. Oh. That would come sweating for you. Yeah. That wow. would be rough. Look, I'm the fucking blaze. Oh, 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 oh. Like a Christmas ham on the blaze. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck <laughs> 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 off, gun! Who the fuck off, gun? Is that hard? Yeah, that was quite difficult. Holy shit! Wow, I can't believe he, he like stayed a, on. He's a stern, straight shooter too. You yeah. can tell. He's I a father of three kids, and he doesn't take. He's like, yeah. I wonder if he was tempted to laugh. That's what I was picturing that they'd be fighting back the laughter. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I reckon if it wasn't such a stern father, then probably. But like, imagine if we got the same chick from last week. Not better than last week's, so. but. Oh, dude, how the fuck? How are you gonna top, top that? Yeah. Like, there's gonna be some fucking shit like no, that not, man. now and then. There's not. Don't listen. And that to wasn't it. that bad. You get to hear some weird abuse and some whack screams. I should have gone more. I should have just done more. I should have screamed and fucked more. Down. Dude, look how sweaty you are. You get down. <laughs> he always stands up. Yeah, he chops his head off every time. But yeah, dude, don't be so hard on yourself. Fuck, fuck it, man. You need a shower. Anyway, um, we're still the best, man. Don't forget if to like and subscribe. Don't forget to drew, yeah, so, you can, uh, so you can you can scroll down and leave a comment if you want. <laughs> I don't know, maybe like the video and subscribe if you like. Uh, things are growing quickly here, and we're very happy. We, we aren't monetized ever, but it's okay because we just want more people to watch it. And we just love it when you do that. And make laughs. Yes, it's good times, man. We have 24K subscribers now, Matt Brown, on the YouTube. Spotify views going up. It's just, it's a great time to invest. Oh, imagine if Spotify invested in us just off that. There's no way, though. Dude. So they gave the Fairbank Films boys a Spotify original. Who else did they give one to? Someone else. What's a Spotify original? Yeah, so they get Spotify go. like gives them all the podcast shit and just promotes them on Spotify. Yeah, can I see that all the time pop up on Spotify. Yeah, so. maybe maybe one day. I don't think so. Not for us. Not for us. We have to do it all on our own because of the things that you say. We have to do everything on our own because Michael can't hold his tongue for three minutes at the beginning of the. Yeah, you swear too sure much. You're an asshole. He's out in a lot of mate. We blur that, mate. Oh, that, come so. on, mate. He's trying to fucking push back on me, cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone oh, sees straight through it, cunt. <laughs> but having said that, we'll see you guys later, okay? We're the best. 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 Fuck me, cunt. That was good. Very good. There you go. Towel off. Sorry. There are no strings on me. BITCH!